Should I stop and try again? Oh, there it goes. All right. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Senior Awards Night for the class of 2021 here at Cottage Grove High School. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Kevin Harrington. I'm the principal here at Cottage Grove High School, and we have a, a stacked program tonight, and it's, it's about our seniors and all their accomplishments over the last four years. Um, I do, I do really want to say I think this is a, a unique class in the having to go through a pandemic at the end of your junior year and then finish that up through your senior year. Um, our students are amazing and they've persevered in in ways that uh, are truly inspiring. And um, we're looking forward to giving out some awards tonight. So we'll have some department awards, we'll have some pathway awards, we'll have some leadership, academic awards, and a bunch of things. So without further ado, we're gonna start with our um, department awards. So we're gonna start with the language arts department. And I think Shelly's gonna go first. Hi, I'm Shelly Swearingen. I teach the College Now Literature class, as well as the um, language arts for grades 11 and 12. And for the first award, the College Now um, Excellence in Literature, the award goes to Bethany Struthers. Bethany has been a joy to work with. From the first day I met her, her smile was infectious. Her enthusiasm for the topic, it only increases my own. It makes me even happier to be working in that classroom. Bethany's work is consistently awesome, and I cannot wait to see how she does in college. She is a true leader and a real asset to the community, and she is a true asset to my classroom. Thank you, Bethany. For the Award for Excellence in Language Arts for um, the seniors, I've chosen Chelsea Cranford. Chelsea is an amazing student. She works hard. She is the first student, she's the first um, person in her family to be attending college, and she will be attending Western in the fall. She um, is such a perfectionist that we've had to work on a certain lesson, which is she doesn't have to be perfect. No one is ever perfect, but we always aim for excellence, and that's good enough. And so, Chelsea, just keep on aiming for, for excellence because you are an excellent young woman, and I am so proud of you. Thank you for being here. I don't see Michelle Bradley. Michelle? Carlin, why don't we go on to you and then we'll circle back and I can do Michelle's. Okay. Hi everyone, um, I'm Carlin Kephart and I teach language arts and um, I have the Writing uh, College Now 121 class as well as um, English 1112 and English 10. Um, so I'm sad that I'm following Shelly because she's such an eloquent speaker. <laughs> But um, I am just so proud to know all of the individuals on the list of names that I'm going to be giving awards to this evening. Um, so first, I'm actually going to give some awards on behalf of Sarah Leonard. Um, she wasn't able to be here this evening, but she has an award for Excellence in Language Arts for Rhea Flores. And she also has an Excellence uh, in Language Arts Award for Darcy Rust. <laughs> Silent clapping. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Congratulations, you two. Um, and then for my classes, um, College Now, Writing 121, I have two awards. Um, one is for Natalie Milligan, and if the other one is for Raina Herzog, and they're both for excellence in writing. Um, I had Natalie first semester and Raina second semester, um, and Natalie, uh, her writing immediately struck me as being very talented, uh, very spot on with everything that we were reading and writing about, um, and just extremely thoughtful. And um, her turns of phrase were just especially, like she has a gift for rhetoric, it was clear. Um, and so congratulations, Natalie, for your Excellence in Writing Award. And then um, with Raina this semester, um, and really both of you guys, it's been a year, right? And so I'm just so proud. Writing 121 is hard in any given year, and this one is especially challenging. So to tackle it all in one semester 
you know, when generally students get, you know, the whole entire year to do it, you've, you've both just done an outstanding job. But um, so coming back to Raina, so I specifically remember one particular <laughs> a bit of feedback, Raina, where you said, I'm usually a crap writer, <laughs> which is like, Mostly just invitation to like give me feedback is what I saw in that. And that is not always something that we encounter um, with emerging writers. So um, I really appreciated your willingness to to take that feedback to heart and to, um, to just expand, to grow, to try new things. And I've just seen your writing grow, Raina, um, over the course of this semester. And it's just been a pleasure to have you in class. And then finally, I also have one award for um, a 12th grader in my uh, general language arts class, the 11-12 blend this year, which is Elena Little, um, outstanding language arts student. Elena, it's been such a pleasure to know you. I'm so happy that you came to Cottage Grove. Um, I have just really enjoyed talking with you and reading your writing and seeing your genuine reflections and uh, seeing your growth and just your genuine curiosity and willingness and eagerness to explore everything that we're doing and you're willing to you know, just, you know, go for it and, and see, see, you know, what's happening next and, um, and what you can learn from it. So I've just really appreciated that. Thanks, Elena. Okay, and I don't see Michelle Bradley, so I will give this award on her behalf. Um, her award, um, Excellence in the Analysis of Literature, um, goes to Samantha Paulus. And Samantha, um, I'm not sure if you're on or not, but I know from what I've heard from staff is that Samantha is really hardworking, dedicated, and does her absolute best in all of her classes. Just an excellent student. So congratulations. All right. I am Mr. Wright. Uh, I'm going to be presenting for Mrs. Royce tonight. Um, she could not be here. I believe she's coaching basketball right at this moment. So. Um, she provided a brief statement, and I think you all know how much Mrs. Royce cares about her students, and I'm sure that if she were here, she would speak at length um, about you individually and your strengths. Um, but I, she left a brief statement for me uh, to read to you tonight. I'm going to present in two categories. We're going to start with art, in, and then we're going to uh, move on to advanced art. So beginning with art, the uh, three seniors this year with this award are Raina Herzog, Bethany Struthers, and Ariel Lamp. And uh, Mrs. Royce says, these seniors were absolutely a pleasure to have in class. I wish I had them all four years to watch them grow. Looking forward to seeing these artists grow as adults and watch them make their mark on the world. Um, so that's a nice statement from Ms. Royce there. I'm sure she would have loved to say more. Um, moving on to advanced art, uh, quite a few here. Um, all in all, I believe there's eight. So there's a lot of fantastic artists here at College Grove High School, and I'm very proud of that, as is Mrs. Royce. Our award, uh, awardees, is that a word? I'm going to use it. Sorry, Mrs. Rust. <laughs> Our awardees are uh, Juan Ramirez Coronel, Cassidy Hanks Cave, Riley Smeltzer, Shelby McNamara, America Krasneski, Saya Kupsik, Cheyenne Stroud, and Miranda Swearingen. Mrs. Rice says, most all of these seniors have been in art since their freshman year. I love this part. Some have been thick-headed, hardworking pieces of work themselves and stuck it out for four years. It has been such a pleasure watching them all grow and produce the work we have all enjoyed around the school. These seniors are a true blessing to have been around. Thank you all and your parents and guardians as well. Go shine and make us all proud. Um, again, yeah, I think there's a lot packed in there. Uh, congratulations to all of our uh, art and advanced art awardees. Um, I'm going to transfer on to music now. Um, so we have a couple of awards uh, for uh, band and choir and then a multiple uh, band and choir award here. So I'm going to start with uh, the John Philip Sousa Band Award. Uh, this award is a long-standing tradition here at CGHS. It has been awarded as far back as 1966. Uh, this award is designated for hardworking band students that contribute consistently and positively 
to the CGHS band pro program as they take on their own challenges and growing and maturing through our program. Um, I am honored to give this award to two students this year. I felt were particularly deserving. Going in alphabetical order, our first co-winner this year is Max McCaslin. Max has always been a fun and positive student, uh, and he has never said no to a challenge that I have asked of him. Um, as a result of Max's diligence and passion for music, He's really blossomed into an excellent young soloist in the art of jazz improvisation. Um, and that is a, a skill that really is something special. Not a lot of people in the world can do that. Um, and I applaud Max for that. And congratulations, Max McCaslin. Our second co-winner this year is Riley Zaletzi. Uh, Riley is one of those hard workers that always does what needs to be done to achieve either a personal or a group goal. Uh, but if you're not paying close attention, you might miss that uh, because he always modestly goes about his work um, and he often does it out of sight and does not ask for praise uh, for his work. Uh, Riley is courageous, curious, thoughtful, determined, it's always challenging himself and asking great questions in class. Uh, he even continued to take private lessons uh, even when he wasn't enrolled in band earlier this year in the fall, which is a first for me. I, it's very impressive to me. It may seem something small, but it is a very impressive thing to me to, to be taking lessons and continuing to strive for personal growth even when there's no immediate uh, band class to, to practice for. That's really impressive to me. Um, Riley has become a, a solid all-around musician as a result of his own perseverance and determination. And congratulations, Riley. It's been um, absolutely a blast to work with Riley and Max, and I appreciate both of you in so many ways. Moving on, um, next I'm going to present the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award. Uh, this is an award that is given to a student who strives to progress in both vocal and instrumental jazz. There are a rare few in the world who have become proficient at both vocal and instrumental music. Um, and the work of taking on both challenges and giving 100% effort in both areas is something that deserves the utmost recognition. Our winner this year is Enzo Valdez. Uh, th this is, <laughs> I love, I, whatever, I'm just gonna get to the one. Uh, this year, Enzo has shown that he is willing and able to take on both vocal and instrumental music as hard as I can throw it at him in prepare, preparation for music in higher education. Uh, I've done just about everything I could to break this young man, uh, and I just couldn't do it. He just keeps coming back for more and just taking more advice and more instruction, and he's just super hungry, and that's super impressive to me. Um, yeah, I mean, all jokes aside, I have a lot of respect for the level of determination that Enzo has shown, particularly this year, and I look forward to seeing his pathway through higher education take shape. Um, congratulations, Enzo, and I hope you do maintain your lighthearted humor as you progress through the, the, the I'll call it dark, challenges to come. Uh, for those of you who have been through art school, any type of school through the arts, it can be pretty challenging, but uh, keep that lighthearted humor, bud. Congratulations. And lastly, we have the Ella Fitzgerald Award. Uh, Ella Fitzgerald rose above trying circumstances to become one of the greatest jazz vocalists of all time, showing the world the depths of what could be expressed through vocal music. The Ella Fitzgerald Award is designated to a student who embodies that grit and depth through vocal music. This year's award goes to Alex Keaty. I have seen Alex's grit since day one of knowing her. And though I may not know Alex personally as well as some other students, I do know that she has been the most consistent student I have had at CGHS. And by that I mean that she always puts in the work, she always ends up with a very high quality result, and she always pushes herself to the next level, taking risks along the way. I have a great deal of respect for her skill, and even more for her continued work ethic, even when these last two years have not culminated in what she worked so hard uh, for it to culminate into. Uh, congratulations, Alex, and I hope to see you continue with music in some capacity in the future. Uh, congratulations to all our music awardees. You are very deserving. 
And I can't wait to see what happens next for you, all of you. Thank you. I believe that I am next. So I'm Janet Rust and I teach language arts and drama. And so these awards are for the theater program. I have three uh, this evening. Um, you've heard a couple of their names already. Uh, the first one is um, Excellence in the Art of Theater for Alex Keedy. Alex joined us in uh, her sophomore year doing the musical review. And uh, then her junior year, she played Morticia in The Addams Family, and she was brilliant. Uh, we tried to get her on stage that spring, but COVID, and so she didn't get to do a play. And so this year, she decided to join us in the advanced drama class and work with us on the Laramie Project as well as the original pieces that we did. She was an actress in one of those. So she has been just a lovely person to work with, just very even keel, very easy. And um, I'm gonna miss her next year. So congratulations, Alex. The second award goes to Enzo Valdez, outstanding contribution in, to the theater. Enzo also joined us as a sophomore in the music, uh, the musical review, and then he also did All in the Timing and Macbeth, so he did all three shows that year. Um, in addition, he did Shrek with me over at the Cottage Theater, so he was a busy man that year. Um, junior year, we all know he was Gomez, fabulous Gomez in the Adams family. Um, and then this year, you know, we did the Laramie Project, he was in that, and uh, he ended up writing one of the two original pieces that we did this spring. So that was kind of a new adventure for him. Um, Enzo is fabulous, as Devin said, and a, just a joy to be around. So um, I look forward to watching him uh, pursue his, his career in music education. So congratulations, Enzo. And then my last award goes to someone who's a little bit special to me. Her name is Darcy Rust. Um, she has done so much theater at our high school. Outstanding contribution in the theater is her award. So freshman year, she was in Nonsense. She was in All My Sons, and she ran Lights for El Masonary. At the same time, she did Susical and played the lead at the Cottage Theater. Sophomore year, she did the musical review, All in the Timing, and then she did Costumes for Macbeth, also was in Shrek at the Cottage Theater. And then, <laughs> she's looking at me from the couch. And then junior year, she was Wednesday in The Addams Family. She was Jane in Pride and Prejudice, and we did Oliver at the Cottage Theater. Um, you know, she was supposed to also be in the spring show, but that didn't happen. And then this year, she was in The Laramie Project, and she directed me in Enzo's piece that he wrote this year. So. It's been a joy, of course, to have her in the school, and I will miss her probably a little bit more than the other two, but that's okay. Anyway, congratulations to all three of you. You will be missed. Hi, my name's Krista Scoggins, and I teach Spanish here at CGHS, and I'm gonna present on behalf of our other Spanish teacher, Maya Brockman. Senora B says, the Senior Spanish Two Award goes to Armando Castellanos, Armando consistently came to class with an inquisitive mind, a positive attitude, an outstanding work ethic, and a high level of participation, and he was a great role model for his peers. It is my pleasure to present Armando with this well-deserved award. Congratulations. I guess that means I'm next. And maybe it's kind of appropriate that um, physics follows the foreign language because, you know, sometimes it kind of feels like that. And it's been an amazing year with students that are um, at times given kind of the opportunity, they understand that hmm, should I take this or should I have an extra free period um, each day? And these seniors are among a group that just um, brought it. And it's really been fun to see them grow and share um, two words, problem solving, well, 
that's two words. And another one, collaborators, um, they made the class. Um, when you are given opportunities, especially across this kind of format, and you're given a problem, I am a person that my first reaction is to kind of suck it up and go in your corner and work. Um, these two individuals, did, uh, one of them is still working at it. Um, Elena Little and Kaylee Hands have um, consistently involved their classmates moving forward. Their uh, greatest shines, I believe, came when they just helped the whole class move forward in those kinds of windows of interaction that pop up all over as you're trying to learn together as a class. At the beginning of this year, I was told, hmm, you get to teach physics. Uh, first time in, I won't tell you how many years that I got through that assignment. Um, by the way, we thought they were coming to school sometime. No, they're not. Um, what could possibly go wrong? And so it's really, I very much appreciate Elena's and Kaylee's leadership. Uh, thank you very much. And I'm positive with the skills you have shown and the people how in the world you can show people skills through this kind of media, you know, at that level, it's really wonderful. So um, physics award certificate to you. Thanks for your efforts. Vicki, did you want me to, to go for Taylor? Okay. Uh, so my name is Mr. Smith, and I'm going to prevent, uh, present for Mrs. Boxberger. She's not here for social studies. She gave me a little script, um, so I'll read that for you guys. Um, it says, the next awards will be presented to the students who have excelled in Principles of Democracy this year. Principles of Democracy is a required course for seniors here at CGHS. This course is designed to help students have a better understanding of our government and set them up to be active and informed participants in, the, in our country. Many students experience extreme senioritis by the time they take principles of democracy and view it as a hoop to jump through on their way to graduation. However, the following students have pushed themselves in a way that has set them apart. They have given their best efforts, they have been active participants in class and stepped up as leaders when needed. Their work ethic, their willingness to learn difficult content, their consistent leadership and drive to push themselves to do their best will carry them far beyond high school. It has been a joy to have the following students in my class this year. I would like to acknowledge Cassidy Humphrey, Easton Noick, Jaden Simons, Hector Serratos Hernandez, and Zane Schweitzer. Thank you. And then uh, I got volunteered because I'm right right after Mrs. Boxberger. So uh, again, I'm Mr. Smith. I teach, uh, I'm really focusing with weights and for these two awards um, here at the high school. Um, and I um, want to uh, reward two students that have uh, been uh, especially awesome as we come back. We came back in the building in the hybrid model. They've really taken advantage of um, the weight room and, 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 and trying to get, you know, healthier and, and be better people. And so, um, it's been a tough year. I know many people have said that, but um, it's exciting to see students that want to come in and, and and lift and get stronger and, and work on their fitness. And so the two students that I would like to award for an excellence and weight training would be Libby Lawson and Calvin Wilkie. Thank you. All right. Hi, my name is Ricardo Flores, and uh, I'm the business teacher and the leadership teacher. So I'm going to just present a couple of different awards for some special students. Um, the first one is for the business award. And I have two people. It's interesting. Calvin's just right up one after the other. Um, so I have Calvin Wilkie and Skylar May, and both of them I'm awarding a business 
um, award for their leadership in all of my business classes and for the work that they did in advanced business concepts and in FBLA. Um, and they both, you know, when you interact with these guys uh, as a teacher, sometimes you're just like, wow right? Like the ability that some people have, the responsibility that they can take and the energy that they bring makes class a joy. And you know that in their future, they're going to do well. And then wherever they work, they're going to do fantastic. So I just want to thank them for their contributions. The second award that I'd like to give is a special leadership award. Um, and this is for uh, three young ladies who gave extra amount of time and themselves that bettered our school district uh, our high school, and I believe our community, and that is um, MJ, Rade, Rhea Flores, and Natalie Milligan. Um, they started a process of working with our school district to be on our district equity committee, uh, and these three young ladies stood up for all students at Cottage Grove High School and in our school district. So I just wanted to reward them for being brave, for speaking up, when they were surrounded by community members and business members. Um, and uh, honestly, to see these three strong young women go to a meeting with adults and when they spoke, everyone listened um, is really something to see. And so uh, I'm very thankful for all the things that they did. Okay, so um, I will transition us into our next section. So we're now going to be presenting students with Cottage Grove High School Pathway Chords. And so I'm just going to give you a quick explanation of what pathway chords are, in particularly for the CTE teachers. But um, a Cottage Grove High, excuse me, Cottage Grove High School pathway chord means that a student has completed two years um, in classes and have an extension activity of some sort. And these pathways, and particularly the CTE teachers, have what are called state-approved programs in their specific areas and have special teaching licenses that they get to make sure that um, we are teaching industry standard material to students. And so when students go through our pathways, we're really hoping that we're helping them to their next steps. So um, I'm actually going to lead off for Joy Vanek, who is not here, our culinary teacher. And the following students received a culinary cam cord from Mr. Vanek, and that's Chelsea Cranford, Kelsey Moreno, Marco Barracio, Chloe Blackmore, and Kylie Joseph Walker. Hi, I'm Jerry Ann Walker, and I'm here to present the pathway course for our education pathway. So all the seniors in the education pathway have completed college level coursework to develop a strong background in child growth and development. And the seniors that are earning the Early Childhood Education Pathway Cord focus their studies on education in the early grades, kindergarten through grade 12. We also have a group of seniors earning the Teacher Cadet Honor Cords, and they focus their teaching uh, on teaching and training in grades K through 12. All of these seniors are to be commended for their professionalism and the service they gave to South Lane teachers during all of the internship experiences they had in South Lane classrooms. So these are the seniors earning the Early Childhood Education Pathway Cord. Chloe Blackmore, Bradley Jones, and Kylie Woodard. They would have studied under Sina Kilsgaard and with Mr. Joey Vanek. These are the students who are earning the Teacher Cadet Honor Cord. They're near and dear to my heart because I teach that class, where we think about teaching and training in all aspects of life. I want to thank those seniors especially for some awesome, courageous conversations. These students include Bethany Struthers, Delaney Abraham, Haley Rounceville, Juan Ramirez Coronel, Kylie Walker Joseph, Michaela Blomquist, and Raina Herzog. Congratulations. Hello again. Now I get to present for our Spanish Pathways. Uh, we weren't able to do this program this year, but all of these students that are earning this uh, cord 
um, participated in our program as sophomores or juniors. So, oh, and I'm gonna read this in Spanish also for our um, Spanish speaking families. Students in the Spanish 3-4 class earn their pathways cords by teaching Spanish to kindergartners through fifth graders in our local elementary schools. During this service learning project, students learn to work in teams, design lessons, speak publicly, and be creative, organized, and adaptable. Their hard work, ideas, energy, and compassion make a positive and lasting influence on the kids in our community. Los estudiantes en la clase del Español 3-4 ganan sus cordones de pathways por enseñar el español a los niños en nuestras escuelas primarias. Durante este proyecto de servicio, los estudiantes aprenden a trabajar en equipos, diseñar lecciones, hablar en público y ser creativos, organizados y adaptables. Su trabajo, ideas, energía y compasión son una influencia positiva y duradera en los niños en nuestra comunidad. So thank you and congratulations to the following graduates. Así a los graduados, muchísimas gracias y felicitaciones. Chloe Blackmore, Michaela Blomquist, Caleb Boxberger, Isabella Costa, Lindsay Flaherty, Kaylee Hands, Ryder Humphreys, Kara McMurray, Aquina Younger, Natalie Bates, Steven Cisneros Martinez, Flor Hernandez, Armando Menchaca, Haley Rounceville, Haley Schatzow, Hector Serratos, Bethany Struthers, and Kylie Woodard. Thank you. Hi, so it's Ricardo Flores again. Sorry, everybody, for leaving my mic on. If I don't leave my hand up, I leave my mic on. I'll just be glad we're back in person again. <laughs> so, um, I have the business pathway cords now and students could have gone through a variety of business classes, either marketing management, um, sports and entertainment marketing, advanced business concepts where they run student businesses or working on computer applications. So uh, for this year, I have four students who have completed their business cam cords and that is Cassie Cabe, Cassidy Humphrey, Zane Schweitzer, and Calvin Wilkie. In addition, I'll be presenting um, leadership cords. And this was something that started just a few years ago because we have a group of students who lead and spend so much time um, in leadership class or doing student council. So these students have two years in leadership donating so much time and efforts to make this school a better place. And I, you could go on and on about all of these students. However, I will just list them for you at this point. So I'd like to award MJ Rade, Armando Menchaca, Courtney Owens, Natalie Milligan, Rhea Flores, Bethany Struthers, Cassie Cave, and Enzo Valdez. Hello again. I'm back with our valedictorian and our salutatorian. So these students are chosen based on their four year um, GPA. In, the, in their high school experience. And so our valedictorians this year are, we have two. So we have Isabella Costa and Rhea Flores. Congratulations. And our salutatorians, we also have two. So we have Avery Hutchins and MJ Rade. Congratulations to all four of you. Well done. Hi, I'm Vicki Evans. Sorry, I didn't introduce myself earlier. Um, I'm the senior counselor for this year's class and really proud of the work that they've done. Um, those four students have uh, maintained the highest GPA possible, but we also have another group that maintained a 3.5 or above for the past four years. And this is quite a feat. Um, when I did the math, I was a little surprised 30% of our senior class has a 3.5 or above, which is just astonishing, especially in these times. So I recruited some help. I'm going to read the first 20 names, um, and then Ms. Sandiford will jump in and, and um, read the next 20. All of these students will have a gold cord that they'll be wearing at graduation. Um, and then the pathway cords are white. The... Um, We'll get to community service cords. They all are different colors, and we'll um, go through and let you know what colors are for what cords. But these will be the gold cords that you see at graduation. And I will say these names slowly so that we can recognize each and every one of these students for their 
for their hard work. So Alex Keedy, Aquina Younger, Ashleen Carr, Avery Hutchins, Bethany Struthers, Chloe Blackmore, Darcy Rust, Delaney Abraham, Drew Chapman, Elena Little, Enzo Valdez, Haley Roundsville, Isabella Costa, Israel Aguilar Flores, Jordan Thilke, Joshua Stewart, Juan Ramirez Cornell, Caden Erickson, Kaylee Cox, and Cassidy Hanks Cave. Kaylee Hans, Kai Houston, Cole Johnson, Courtney Owens, Kylie Walker Joseph, Lindsay Flaherty, Marianne Miller, Madeline Ladd, Matthew Burns, and Jay Roddy, Michaela Blomquist, Natalie Milligan, Preston Mulhall, Raina Herzog, Rebecca McReynolds, Rhea Flores, Rhea Flores, Riley Zolesi, Ryder Humphreys, Shelby McNamara, Skylar May, Thane Parsons, and Zane Schweitzer. Congratulations. Uh, good evening, I'm Matt Myers, I'm the Athletic Director, and I have the pleasure of uh, honoring our two uh, three-sport athletes, our three-sport senior athletes. Uh, the first one is Raina Herzog. Uh, you've heard her name about 27 times already this evening. She's, as you can tell by, um, by that, she's just a fantastic human. She's a fantastic athlete. Um, she's not just a three-sport athlete. She's a really darn good three-sport athlete. Um, many of you may know she's won the state championship in wrestling twice uh, in the heavyweight division. The only reason she doesn't have three is because wrestling's still going. I have a feeling she's going to add to that. Um, she also uh, is a soccer goalie, starting soccer goalie on her soccer team. And um, believe it or not, despite the state championships in wrestling, she's going to go on to play um, college soccer at UCC. Um, it just tells you how, how good of an athlete it, she is. And um, just, you know, for, for fun, she went ahead and got fifth, um, fifth and sixth in the two throwing events at our district meet a couple weeks ago. Um, so she's just, she's not just a three sport athlete. She's also um, a fantastic um, athlete and a fantastic student. Um, the second athlete is Maddie Ladd, whose name you just heard. Also a really good student. Uh, Maddie Ladd is an extremely unique athlete. Um, you see her out on a field or on a court or on a track. Um, and she's probably the best athlete out there. Um, she's tall. She's got, you know, those big hands that you see with athletes. They can grab a ball or they can throw something. And everything they do and everything they touch, they just are really good at. Um, Maddie was the um, – she played basketball. She was the uh, state – excuse me, the league player of the year in basketball for the 1920 season. Helped our uh, girls' basketball team win the league. Um, she also, um, in the district meet – recently qualified in three events for state. She finished third in the uh, high jump, fourth in the triple jump, and ninth in the 100 at the state meet. Um, honestly, if they let her go the javelin or do the long jump, she probably would have finished in the top 10 in those two. Um, and then not to forget volleyball, the sport she's actually going to go to Bushnell to um, participate in. She's, um, she's been all league in volleyball three times. Um, she's also been all state in volleyball. So um, just, just two fantastic humans, two fantastic athletes. And these are two kids too, that did this despite missing a whole year of sports. They went from March to March, more or less without any organized sports. Um, and these two could have just cast it in as seniors and said, well, I'm pretty much done. I don't do this. This year's, you know, been a bummer. Uh, but they both came back and excelled as seniors, um, just as they had the previous three years. So congratulations to both of you.
Um, and thanks for thanks for letting us watch you out on the court, on the field, on the track, et cetera. Okay, and I'm back for Community Service Awards. And um, this has been really difficult this year. Normally students do a lot of community service in their junior and senior year, but that just wasn't possible. So the um, names that I'm gonna give you are students that did quite a bit of community service their freshman and sophomore years. And I apologize if anybody was left off this list, I will make sure that you get your cord um, before graduation. So these cords are white and blue and you'll see those at graduation. The three sport athlete will be gold, blue, and white. And then the leadership will be blue and gold. So you'll see lots of different colors. Um, some students will have four and five cords, which is wonderful. Um, as far as community service though, these cords have turned in forms to me. So we congratulate them on their community service. America Krasneski, Bethany Struthers, Bailey Corden, Haley Ranzeville, Hector Serratos, Joshua Stewart, Kaylee Hans, Courtney Owens, Michael Pablo Herrera, McKinney Roddy, Riley Zalezi, Thane Parsons, and Zane Schweitzer. Congratulations. Thank you, seniors. Thank you parents, guardians, grandparents, aunts, uncles, and, and everyone else that's been influential in our seniors' lives. Um, they are a fantastic group of individuals and we can't wait to see where they go in the future. I'm gonna wrap up by sharing uh, a slide for our upcoming dates for seniors. So bear with me one minute here while I share this. That. And so here are the upcoming dates for seniors. So beginning on June 9th, we're gonna ask for the return of devices, textbooks, and clearing fines. And then we're also um, going to distribute caps and gowns beginning June 9th as well. And that's where you'll get your cords, your awards, everything that you earn tonight will be uh, distributed with the caps and gowns. And that'll be from 10 to 4 on June 9th. June 10th at 9 a.m. we have our senior breakfast. We'll do that outside on the basketball courts at 9 a.m. And then we'll have grad practice following right after that. And graduation will be on Saturday, June 12th. I think I put the wrong date in there for the senior um, breakfast and grad party. That's the 11th, not the 10th. <laughs> Sorry about that. And then graduation is on the 12th on Saturday. We will, um, students need to report to the gym at one and our ceremony begins at two. Um, as of right now, each graduate will earn six tickets. If restrictions loosen up more, we will be able to, to dole out more tickets, but that's it for now. So again, thank you um, for your time this evening. We look forward to graduation and the rest of our culminating events with the class of 2021. Go Lions. And prom is on Friday, thank you, Enzo. <laughs> <laughs>